Keep that same energy, sis. Keep that same energy. My name is Tiffany Bird Harrison. I release videos every single Friday about spiritual growth for performing artists. And you made it in for your first accountability check. First of all, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be on board for more videos. Today, we are talking about how to keep that same energy, which you've probably heard popping up all over social media, but what does this phrase actually mean? Keep that same energy means you don't wanna lose fervor or energy for the cause, black lives, equality, and civil rights. And you don't wanna get distracted and move on to the next topic of discussion. For my Christian brethren, this means do not get tired of doing good for in due season, you will reap a harvest. It means it is not enough to just talk about injustice. We gotta be about this work on the regular. And the way you can be about it is to support black people with your time, your attention, and your finances. Donations, money, coin, cheddar, moolah, guap, cash, dinero, dollars. In my last video, I actually talked about how white owned producers, theater owners, and companies profit on telling black stories of pain and struggle. You can actually watch that by clicking right up here. But today I want to highlight seven black female artists who I know personally are doing the work that goes beyond themselves. Give you some places to sow financial seeds in the movement of strong black female leaders with purpose. Pick one to two women in this group to sow into financially. $1, $5, $10 can go a really long way. Number one, Jasmine Mitchell. Fellow actor and director Jasmine Mitchell created an incredible resource known as the Anti-Racist Packet, which is now an entire website for all people to learn more about systemic racism, police brutality, ally etiquette, and more. It is one of the most thorough resources I've ever seen and has been helping me in my own education on racial issues. The website is anti-racist.fyi and you can support her work by following her on all the socials right here and send some coin to at Smooth Jasmine on Venmo or dollar sign Smooth Jazz on Cash App. Number two, Billy Krishan, the triple threat artist, actor, and activist. Billy has been documenting protests and rallies in the heart of DC with powerful photos and video journalism that will take your breath away. She believes in taking control of the narrative and exposes the love and unity of the civil rights movement not covered in the mainstream. She has been compiling kits for the homeless to encourage support of black lives in all circumstances. I've had the pleasure of working with Billie remotely, editing some of her video footage and getting a chance to see her work. And you can follow her journey at Absolute Reality on Instagram. Her website will be down below to learn more and donations can be made via Cash App, Venmo, and PayPal. Number three, Brie O'Galdez. Singer, actress, and writer Brie O'Galdez is a powerful force behind the pen. She writes the blog, Confessions of a Post-Teen Drama Queen. And she says in her own words, I spent a lot of my life showing certain parts of myself to certain people. And through my blog, I am allowing myself to be 100% me. Each post is a confession. I hope that my openness will encourage others to be unapologetically themselves as well. Her recent post, Where Do We Go From Here? A Reminder for Allies is a must read. I will leave the link for Bree's blog down below and you can follow her on Instagram at Bree underscore Ogaldez and support her blog with Venmo at Bree hyphen Ogaldez. Number four, Amanda Lee Corbett. Actor, designer, and photographer Amanda Lee Corbett is the creative director of her own company, Amco Art and Design, where she offers branding, graphic design, and photo shoots with new appointments for socially distanced headshot sessions starting this month. Amanda's current project includes eight by 10 art prints of original art where she donates 10% of her proceeds to Black Lives Matter causes through the end of 2020. You can check out her work at amcoart.com, follow her on Instagram, and send some cash her way at Venmo and Cash App. Number five, Jasmine Wright. My cousin Jasmine is a behavior support clinician, and she runs the blog, Daughter of the Potter, where she encourages people to take a close look at who and what they put their faith in. 
Because Jasmine works with people with emotional challenges, she has a way of writing from a place of compassion and understands that we need to hear from God to get on the right track. You can follow her blog in the link in the description box and follow her on Instagram at Jazzy Jazz. Also consider sowing a seed into her ministry at Venmo at Jasmine underscore right. Number six, Gabrielle Hines. Dance her butt off queen, actress and writer Gabrielle Hines is helping out college graduates with her blog, The Post Grad Survival Blog. It answers the question that many of us wanna know when we get that very expensive piece of paper. What do I do now? Gabby says this about her blog. I felt like after graduation, you get dropped off in the world with a piece of paper and a thumbs up. I felt the need to write about the experiences in adult life and that there is life after graduation. Reading her post, this country is kneeling on my neck is poignant and incredibly raw. You can follow Gab at Gabrielle underscore Hines on Instagram and her blog link is down below. Her Venmo is at Gabrielle hyphen Hines for those of you who are feeling really generous. Number seven, Kylie Jo Smith. Vocalist, mom of two and powerhouse, Kylie Jo Smith is the co-host along with her husband, Nick, of the podcast, Nick Smith where they discuss myths and understanding surrounding life, race, faith, and culture. They are all about real life, no myth. They recently released an episode of their podcast called Blessed Blocking and Bigotry, Understanding the Echo Chamber. And you can check out their podcast as well as their video podcast on all platforms, including iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, and Stitcher, YouTube, as well as follow their socials at Nick Smith Podcast. And of course, I am currently creating content for you guys, which I absolutely love, but I edit videos, I provide captioning services and creative consultations at my website, asacrave.com. So feel free to get in touch with me over there or on Instagram at Tiffany Bird Harrison. Keeping that same energy is all about putting your money where your mouth is and not moving on when the media cycle decides that they have had enough of protests, racial tension, and sensational headlines. Keep that same energy means we are committing to following this through to the end. And we are not going to back down from confronting this beast that is racial injustice and racial reconciliation. Remember to hit the thumbs up button, Share this video for anyone who wants to personally be involved in supporting Black art and Black business. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos. I would love to have you along for the journey so we can be accountable together and continue doing the work. So thank you guys so much and I will see you in the next one. Peace.